is Anna with Anna Travels in another hotel. I know my Japanese um, hotels series, I didn't in fact do one at each day, but I didn't really want to stay in um, Odawara another night and to get to Kyoto, it was, it was going to take another odyssey. I couldn't do another odyssey. So I was like, let me just get to Tokyo and then I'll figure out how I can get to Kobe tomorrow. So booked the APA, oh this one has a long name, I'm just going, it's in the title, and uh, it's an APA hotel in Shinjuku, and I have the single bed, or single, like basically it's, this is for one person, and it is tiny, and it is for one person, but I am one person, and this was the cheapest rate at like 60 bucks a night. So, because I didn't want to do a capsule hotel. I'm sorry, not about a capsule hotel. I need a decent night of sleep. So let's go check out this room. So, as you can see, it opens up into a bed and a desk. So I guess this is really kind of a business style hotel. You have a desk, you have... Everything is laid so nicely. Like, that's what I love about the Japanese hotels. I mean, not to say that, like, other hotels are sloppy, but everything just looks so orderly. <laughs> but you have blow dryer. You, you, they give you yukata. Um, coffee supplies. Little notepad. Your remote control. Phone. Kettle. A bottle of water. Cups. I guess, ooh, room service. Um, and some reading material. And a full length full mirror so you can stare at yourself while you work um really cute little origami this is like the AC panel I had to turn on it was like freaking 30 degrees Celsius in here it was a little too warm <sighs> and then a bed and then I'm guessing the view of the street and your giant TV in your face oh let's go check oh and you have slippers and another mirror you have coat hangers, trash bag, trash cans, and it sort of steps up into your toilet and your bath. And they give you more toiletries. Ooh, they even give you a hair tie. I mean, I don't usually use these kind. My hair is wavy, so they usually break in my hair, but still nice. They give you cotton. Um, swabs, shower cap, a razor, q-tips, uh, oh toothbrush, and toothpaste, and what is that in the back? Oh, body towel. Oh, and a hairbrush. Then they have bags, I'm guessing for dirty laundry, towels, and this kind of doodad. It's a combo, and actually the last hotel I stayed at had not a nice not as nice of a system but basically also the water is drinkable too so that's cool uh, but yeah you have to turn the handle one way for it to go to the um, shower and then you turn it the other way and it goes to the sink um, and then they give you shampoo conditioner and body wash and a deep soak soaking tub so far, the staff have been so nice, like, um, and that's like one thing I can't complain about <laughs> with Japanese hotels. It doesn't matter how budget they are, they're so nice. Like, sometimes budget hotel staff in, the, in America, it's hit or miss. <laughs> sometimes you get the sweet, sweetest, you know, reception, sometimes you get some sketchy receptions. But uh, in Japan, like, because this is considered a budget line, um, and I'm actually shocked because, like, some reviews were like, oh, this is outdated or, or you know, whatever. But for $60 a night, this is better than some, uh, like, this is better than that double tree that we tried to stay at before the July that was charging $700 a night. But anyways, I'll let you know how the beds sleep. Um, I don't know... If I'll do anything else here I'm really super tired so I might just sleep in I might order room service um, because they have room service um, but I don't know but anyways I'll see you guys in the morning
Guys, I just I just noticed the uh, mini fridge, so I forgot to show this. So you get a little mini fridge. So yesterday I didn't show the view, so I'm gonna show it right now. We got a view of Tokyo, of course, because that's where you are. So I will let you know, if you are a light sleeper, there is a lot of traffic noise, and I think that's just like with any big city. Um, I don't know if like you're at top level, if it's uh, mitigated, but I'm on the eighth floor. Um, I really like this little hotel. I mean, it's not spacious, but it's perfect for a single person. Um, and the bed actually is one of my favorite beds in uh, so far on my trip. Um, and so yeah, so um, the price point is actually good. I mean, you're you have. I think there is the subway system pretty close by. Um, there's food locally. You have Lawson's, or actually. I think that one's a family mart and Lawson's over there. Um, so yeah, so um, you're in a decent location. So I will end it there. Like and subscribe. Join me for other Japan vlogs. And I'll see you guys next review.